What's up everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to fix this GPU driver version error message when trying to launch Warzone. So I've just updated to the latest Warzone and as you can see I've got the message on my screen at the moment. Now there are two reasons why you might be getting this message. The first being quite simple as it says, my graphics card driver is not up to date. The second it could just be your graphics card cache. So the first thing that we're going to do is update our drivers. So I will show you how to do that now in this video. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is find out what graphics card you have in your system. And we can do this easily. So once you have closed down Call of Duty, there are two ways of finding out what graphics card you have in your system. You can use a program that I created called Easy Game Utility. The link is in the description below. And once you have downloaded and installed the program, you can just click on graphics and then click on driver download next to your graphics card and it will then take you to the website where you can download the latest driver for your graphics card. So as you can see I've got an AMD graphics card and I've got an AMD Radeon RX 6750. Now if you don't want to download my program that's absolutely fine. You can right click on the start menu icon and then go to device manager. Now once you have device manager open, you're looking for the display adapters option. You need to expand this and you will then see your graphics card there. So as you can see, I've got the RX 6750 XT. Now the next thing that you need to do is click on one of the links that are in the description below. So if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card, click on the NVIDIA link, AMD, click on the AMD, and then Intel, click on Intel. So I'm going to head on over to the AMD website now. So as you can see, I'm now on AMD's website. So I need to select graphics and I then need to select 6000 series and then 6700 and then the 6750 XT. As you can see, they have got 6750 XT. So I then need to go submit. I then need to select my operating system. So I've got Windows 10 and I then need to scroll down and select this option here, the AMD Adrenaline edition and go download. You can use the auto detect and install, but I don't really like that option. I prefer to actually download the driver itself. Now, while that's downloading, I'm going to show you how to do this if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card. Now, once you're on NVIDIA's website, the same thing applies again. So you've got automatic driver there, so you can click on download and it will do the job for you. Or again, I prefer to select manual driver search when downloading a driver for my NVIDIA graphics card. So you need to select GeForce if that's what you've got, that's probably what you have got in your system. The next thing that you need to do is select your series. So if I go for a 20 series, because I did have a 2060, the next thing that I need to do is find the 2060 in here. So you can see it's there, the 2060 Super. So I would select that. The next thing that I need to do is select my operating system. So by the way, if you've got say a 2060, that means it's a 20 series. If you have a 1660, it would then be a 16 series, which is, there it is. I was gonna say it's not on the list, but it's all the way down here. Anyway, so the next thing that you need to do is select your operating system and then go start search. Now, once the search has finished, just scroll down and you will then see driver results. Again, you need to select the top option and go get download. And then go download now and it will then begin to download the NVIDIA driver. So I will now show you how to do this and what to do if you've got a Intel graphics card. So once you've clicked on the Intel driver download link in the description below, you will end up on a page that looks like this. Go ahead and click on graphics under select your product. The next thing that you need to do is simply find your graphics card within this list. So as you can see on the left here, we've got graphics. So if you're using a processor graphics, you will then see it in the list here. But I'm pretty sure you probably wouldn't be able to use a processor graphics for Warzone. So you're probably more than likely looking for the other option. So if we go back to graphics, you would be probably looking for the Intel Arc. So if I select that, you can then see the Intel Arc options. So once again, find your graphics card and then click on download. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select this option here and you can see it's now downloading. So once you download your driver, you now need to open up the setup file. So I'm gonna show you how to update an AMD graphics card. Um, 
actually going through the process. I will pop some video links though in the description below to NVIDIA and also Intel, as I can't show everything in this video as it would be far too long. So I'm now going to go open file for my AMD. Alrighty, so as you can see, I now have the installer on my screen. So you can see there my graphics card, which is all good, that's fine. So all I need to do now is don't allow AMD to collect information. Obviously you can allow them to collect your information if you want, but I don't want to. The next thing that you need to do is select additional options and ensure you got full install selected, and then that's absolutely fine. Now go ahead and click on install if you agree to the terms and it's now going to go ahead and update your AMD driver. So the next thing that we need to do after this is finished is clear those graphics card cache files. So I'll now go ahead and show you how to do that. Now the next thing that you need to do is open up that program again that I created called Easy Gaming Utility. Now you will need this program if you want to easily remove the cache files for your graphics card if not, you can do it manually, but it can be a little bit awkward as you need to go to certain locations. Now with Easy Game Utility, like I said, it's easy. Just select graphics under clean and then click on clean next to your graphics card to remove those cache files. So that's done. That was really straightforward and easy. While you're here as well, you might as well clear the cache files for DirectX as well by clicking on clean and then OK. So as you can see, they have now been removed. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you out. If you did like the video, click the like button below and subscribe if you want to see more computer sluggish videos.